So, welcome back to uh, Carp Lounge Tackle. Now, in this one, it's quite an interesting video because we're going we're gonna to be going over uh, fish symbols or half moon shapes, bananas, whatever you want to call them. Just giving you a basic rundown on that. Um, basically, camera um, and the boat and fish and what you're seeing uh, in conjunction with the echo sounder as well. Um, holes in the weed, we're going to show you what that looks like as well. Um, yeah, so basically, let's get to it. So, as you can see, there's four pictures. Yeah, top left, top right, bottom left, bo bottom right. They're all giving us different information. So, the picture on the top left. Now, if you, as you can see, there's half moon shapes here. Yeah, and they've got red in them, which means they're directly under the boat. Yeah, so you know it's a good solid return. There's multiple fish. Um, so it's fairly fairly obvious, you know. Um, on the right hand picture, top right hand picture, you'll see it's a it's also a large fish. You know, probably carp. It wouldn't necessarily have to be carp though. Um, you can see it's a half moon shape, but there's no red involved. This is because it's off. You know, it's just off center, left or right. You know, front or back, it doesn't matter because the echo sound is a cone shape as it as it straddles the ping down. It's in a cone. So it's just it's just uh, just outside center. So, but it's still a big fish. Now, if you look on the bottom left, yeah, you'll see uh, what you see here is one, two, three. Now that's one fish, uh, but it's quite far off um, to on on the reading of the echo sounder um, because obviously your first point is to the right hand side. What you see on the right hand side is directly under the boat. So as you can see, this fish has actually moved off. Now you'd think it was three fish, but it's actually one fish. Um, but it's just quite far out of its of, of its line of sight. So you'll see here, and then this grey, uh, this sort of grey blue colour, you know. Um, then there's a mass, and then there's it again. But it is still a half moon shape. It just it's just not directly under the boat. So uh, you know it, it's it, it's a distance off. In the uh, bottom right hand picture, now you'd think it was like seven fish there, you know, um, this here. But it's actually not. It's actually a fish. The boat is uh, pretty much at a standstill. It's one fish, but it's because of this multi ping. It's ping, ping, ping. You know, all the time the echo sounder is pinging, and the fish isn't moving, and so it's picking up multiple uh, returns off the same fish, which shows you at the bottom it's weak, and at the top it's hard. You know, so this this is the reason for that. It is actually just one fish, but it's giving you multiple uh, returns because it's not particularly swimming away. The boat's pretty much in standstill. You know, so that's the reason for that. You know, so this is not something I, I would use. I mean, it's great if you see it in summer or s summer, spring, autumn. It's great if you see it, but it, it bears no resemblance to my fishing. Now then, in winter, that's a different that's a different matter because fish do not tend to move around as much. If you find fish like this, you know, you're going to find them stacked up in one area. So in winter, it's it's really really useful. You know, for finding fish. So bet, just bear that in mind. A little bit of practice. Um, you know, as you get used to it, just make sure you're looking for these half moon shapes. Um, and sooner or later, you know, through a, you know um, your experiences and stuff like that, you are going to learn to read it properly. Now the next, this is where it starts to get interesting, or at least I, I mean, I find it interesting. So if we're gonna, uh, we're gonna switch up now. And here you have the camera and the app on the right hand side. And it was really lucky because we were just doing testing, but we actually get got to see uh, fish and how, how, um, how they swam about, you know, how it looked on the echo sounder, how the camera looked on the echo sounder, that kind of thing. So you can see like, I mean, in, I think in this picture, there's three, maybe four fish in view, you know, um, and that does bear, um, goods when you look at the echo sounder because you can clearly see the fish this line here yeah same as this here that's it that's the actual camera yeah so it's because it, it's a hard um object but i mean look at these fish you know and it, it does bear um bear out what the camera's seeing as well so it just goes to show that it is a you know a really really good echo sounder now if you um look at the sonar of the echo sounder yeah um, you'll see the half moon shapes you know they're on the move they're swimming um, it's fairly easy to see 
But if you look over, if, you, if you're ever, ever unsure, this is why 50-50 is really good. If you're unsure, look, take a look on the right-hand picture. Yeah, these, these fish are absolutely clear as day. You can tell it's big fish, it's, you know, and then the camera's bearing it out that it's carp fishing, uh, that it's carp. Um, and it's just a really, really great feature. I found it really interesting, you know, because uh, if you look, they're, they're between, I would say, what's the echo sound I'm saying? Uh, between five and 10 meters, these fish are. You know, so there was definitely interest in the spot because this is, this is a spot the guys, the guys had actually fished at the time. Um, and they went back to test out a few things, this, that, and the other. And this is the footage they got. So the fish were still active over the spot. You know, so I think I think it's really, really interesting. You know, um, like I said, and what's what's cool is that the camera does bear um, the information of the echo sounder. You know, it so it is what you're seeing. You know, if you haven't got a camera, you can rely on the echo sounder. It is giving you a genuine picture. You know, so I mean, these these fish are swimming around, like I said, between five and ten meters. Um, they've cleaned out the spot. And to be honest, I think I think they're just waiting for uh, for more bait. To be honest, so basically, if you if you ever see this on your echo sounder, you can uh, pretty much guarantee there's fish in the area, and you should get that. You should you should bait the area up. To be honest, because uh, it looks very very much like a hotspot to me. So you know, like I said, I mean, you can use it for finding the fish, and it will do an excellent job at finding the fish. Um, as you can see with the echo sounder, it's clear as day that they are fish. Um, the camera's proven it on the left hand side. Um, you know, if you're on a quiet lake, you know, just get the boat out and look for the fish. If, that, if that's what you want to do, um, you, you'll find them. Eventually you will find them. Um, like I said, it's not something I particularly do during the, the warmer months. Um, in winter though, I definitely do use this method. You know, I find the fish first, you know, with the boat, um, you you kind of know if, if if you've been on the lake a couple, you know, a few times, you kind of know the areas they're going to be in. So it's not going to take too much time to actually find them, you know. And you know yourself, that's that's half the battle is literally just finding them, you know. So just just give it a go, you know. Um, it's there for you to, you know, the proof is in the pudding, you know. It, it's showing you these fish. Now, I, I mean, I'd, I'd I'd say they're about ten kilos, twenty pounds, you know. Um, that's not, you know, that's not the important part. The important part, first off, is you've found them, you know. So that's the main thing. So what I want to um, switch over to now is something really, really interesting. Yeah. Now, at, at first, you know, when when the guys went over this at first, they thought it was a plateau. Yeah, because this is a this is an area they fished before. Um, because if you look at this, this sort of like grades it out it doesn't you know um if he was just using sonar you think yeah that's a plateau you know there's soft there's soft bottom here soft bottom here uh hard on the top um but that doesn't show the whole picture you know now looking on the camera yeah and here what that what that bears us to is basically there is a sharp drop off of that of that plateau so if you were even slightly over the edge or here, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna have problems when you're fishing, you know? So um, it's quite, it's, it, it, this is why, you know, I always say use 50-50 because the uh, sonar, it gives you good information for sure. I mean, it's telling you it's hard bottomed and you can see it's, it's hard bottom, you know? Um, but the drop off, you couldn't see that on just sonar. You know, it looks like a smooth drop off with weed on it. You know, but it's not. It's a it's a cut off, and as you can see on the um, down scan, you actually see it drop straight down, and then straight down again. So you know, it's a really really good tool to use 50/50 to get the best information because you've got one. It's the sonar view, it gives you the, you know how hard's the bottom, this that and the other, and then um, on this side, you get a clearer picture for sure of what's going on. You know, so if you, I mean look at it. It's hard, you know, there's very little weed on the top of it. Um, it's just a really, really good area to fish. But like I said, now, you know, this, this is where it always, you know, bears fruit. You look at uh, the two pictures and the camera as well, it's, it's, it's bearing this out. Um, if you used to fish this drop off here, the chance are you're gonna lose every fish. You know, it's as simple as that. I mean, one, I don't think it's particularly too interesting to the fish. Um, 
but I mean, what's not shown on sonar view, which is this one, is just how sharp that cut off is. I mean, it is solid flat down you know i mean so you're going to get cut off if you fish too far or if you fish on the edge of it you know that kind of thing so you know i'd be aiming to look this area here you know the first part of the of the of the rock if you like um i'd, I'd be aiming to fish on that maybe just on top but no further just because it's just too risky you know and, it, and it's a it's a it's a proper drop off you know um as you can see but I think you know it's also what's what's good is it, it always it it kills that question yeah of what are you seeing underneath the boat you know it's scrolling so the most actual picture is the always the one from the right yeah um, that's always where you are you know there's it doesn't matter if it's if you speed the echo sounder up if you slow it down um, it makes no difference you know that you know that is what you're seeing and it's always from the right um, is the most actual picture so always take that as you know where you need to be you know what I mean I mean to be honest I mean I would I mean if I if, if we didn't have the camera on this spot you you'd not know that, that was that severe of a drop-off you know with the undercut um, and everything so I think in this situation the camera did help without a doubt you know because um, it is a sharp drop-off um, I'd still be aiming to place my rigs on top you know in the middle of it um, I wouldn't have wanted, wanted to go too far simply because when I look at this it's a sharp drop-off you know so I'd want to be placing it here this kind of area there um, but it just it does uh, it gives you a really really uh, good idea of what you're fishing on and, and you can be confident that what you're seeing is what you're getting on the echo sounder because it bears fruit you know um, sonar on the left um, down scan on the right you know it's 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 worth its weight in gold so our next uh, video this was this was all filmed sort of around the same same day by the way um, the next one I'm going to introduce you to is the uh, the weed hole as they call it and what you're seeing here yeah is a is a choddy area um, and then a really really nice clean spot but this clean spot is probably about 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters it's not big you know um, so we you would be looking to place your baits in that because I mean otherwise you put it you know you put it too short you put it too far to the left to the right you know you could be sitting there all night and, and it's a wasted rod you know um, the feeding area is clear um, as you can see and where they like to feed that that's why there's no there's no weed left on it because they're constantly pulling up the bait you know so sooner or later it's going to be cleaned out and that's that's fairly deep weed on top i, I wouldn't particularly want to be sitting in it so this is a like one of them situations where i wouldn't use the autopilot to drop the bait for me you know i'd use it to get to the spot but i'd finish it i would put it up on a slower speed possible and I, I would tweak it until i know that i'm in that that weedy hole um, that, that in my opinion is the best way to do it in a situation like this you know where you're fishing a hole in the weed um, it just makes sense don't do it automatically you know on areas where there's no weed there's a big banks and this and the other use the autopilot completely you know use it for you know hold and drop everything you know drop your baits let the autopilot do it bring the boat home um, that's fine but in areas like this and this was a hot spot this well it is a hot spot you know in areas like this it's always better to sort of like do that last meter, two meters yourself. You know, if you if you're if there's two of you, that's brilliant. One can be in control of the boat. The other one is just holding the rig, uh, the rod basically, uh, bail arm. You know, keep your line tensioned up. But then when you uh, go to drop the bait, just let it drop. Don't give it any hindrance. No bail arm. Don't hold the line. Nothing because you want it to go straight down. You know, um, so I think that's really important. You know, because I mean, if you, if if like I said. It's one point around 1.5 meters square, yeah. That area. I mean, it's it's fairly it's round, you know, but it's about 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. So, I mean, you look at what you're dropping in. If you're if you're not on that spot, you're nowhere. You know, that is the place to be. That's what you're looking for. You know, you can see it with the echo sounder. Here, here's a camera again. You know, not a problem. So, I hope this video has been interesting for you. Um, it's not a particularly long one. Um, I think it just covers the tips and tricks with the camera and it i think if anything it just proves that what the echo sounder is telling you uh, it visualizes that with the camera um so you can have faith in the echo sounder you know um 
it is not a problem. So that's all for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you next time.